All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Wahal, Rukal, Kodash. Um, double honors to our apostle and our elders at Great Millstone, who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the Akim out there who pushes word and all truth and all sincerity. And, um, you know, it's the brothers from GMS Chicago. And we're uh, going to do another lesson. And, uh,. We uh, were just discussing how, you know, we're getting closer to the end. And, you know, there's signs, you know. And uh, one of the signs that we uh, saw recently was um, that Ford is now only going to produce Mustangs and Ford Focuses in uh, North America. All right. I believe it was either North America or America itself. And that just shows you that... Um, that America's crumbling, okay? And we're getting closer and closer to uh, the downfall of this uh, this kingdom. And it tells us in the scriptures that um, the grinding shall cease. You know, uh, if you want to get that, maybe. Unless you got a scripture to start off with. Yeah, I got a real quick. This is Isaiah 9 and 14. Therefore the Lord will cut off from Israel head and tail, branch and rush in one day. Salaki. I meant to get 19. Get that scripture you call for too. Come, come. Yeah, it's 19. It's uh, Isaiah 19, uh, verse 14. The Lord has mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt which the head or tail, branch or rush may do. And yeah, that's a good scripture right there Because the Lord has uh, mixed a perverse spirit in Egypt That's why everything is all uh, backwards in this uh, place, okay? And the Lord also sent, you know, strong delusions To these uh, Americans out here To believe that this kingdom is going to last forever, okay? And, um, you know, the Lord is, uh, you know, stopping uh, this uh, work right now, man Okay? As time progresses, more and more companies keep uh um you know uh filing for bankruptcy man all right and their stores aren't uh in um in existence anymore such as toys r us carson's just said that they were going to close okay all these uh major companies that have been around for you know decades upon decades are now uh, um going in foreclosure got something sarah no no can you get that um Ecclesiastes, I think 12. You know? Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. In the day where when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because there are few and those that look out of the windows be dark. You know, because we're coming into those times, man, where it says uh, the grinders shall cease, man. Because uh, the brother was talking about... Uh, far as forward but well, what about the retail apocalypse man mm -hmm. when all these uh stores start closing who mostly works there your your, uh, your average everyday nigga man it's, it's you jakes that work at these at the majority of these companies man and you're gonna be losing out on a job man whether it be from a a, a public transportation job a janitorial job shit even these uh these these uh government these government jobs are starting to close down man yeah. these state jobs man like you got you got schools closing, man. Pretty soon it's gonna be uh, police departments closing until it's nothing, man. You know. That's right. You know the grinding is ceasing, man. And then hey, those that look out the windows, it, it's gonna be darkened, man. Pretty much meaning it, you're just it's gonna be like gloom and doom, man. Because you're gonna find no work. You're gonna be in a depressed state, man. All right. And then eventually all you're gonna see is just nothing but chaos. All over the place, all right. Because it tells us that in Second Ezra, the 15, I think it was it, the 15th chapter, where it talks about how um, there's going to be a lot of calamities due, uh, due to the lack of bread. Hmm. You know, I don't know if you want to pull that out unless you got another scripture. I was about to get Second Ezra, but I was get nine. I was working. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was yeah, yeah, get that, yeah, yeah, get that on. It's all, all right. in the spirit, man. We're just, you know, you know, going with the spirit right now. We didn't have anything planned. We were just talking about, you know, all this, uh, you know, the, all these store closures, man. Because um, two years ago, they were talking about all these uh, economists 
All right, they kept talking about the retail apocalypse, okay? And they were talking about it, how a lot of these stores are closing or they're about to close. And from there, it went to the uh, restaurant businesses. And now, it's um, it's hitting the, uh, the, the car industry, man. You know, the um, automobile industry, all right? And it's just going to keep going on and it's going to go into your... Uh, your housing uh, uh, markets Did you know And then they already said on um, I saw uh, What is it MS NBC I was at work And I was at a restaurant And And it was an uh, upscale restaurant Alright One of the uh, richest parts in uh, downtown And they had um, This um, Like I said It was MS NBC And they were talking about how this um, Company called Zillow which they um they, that deals with the housing markets whether you you want to buy a house or you want to rent you know an apartment whatever it may be they were talking about how the the sales were uh, um down man all right so even these uh you know these corporate channels have to uh, report it now they can't hide it anymore all right uh, uh this is second Ezra chapter nine verse one. He answered me then and said, Measures out the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when thou shalt be seen, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and which, uh, what is the uproar of the people, man? You got uh, people in Greece rioting. You have uh, have uh, citizens fight each other in, in, in places like Israel. You know, mm. you know. That's a big thing right now. You got even Esau, the top of Esau, Amalek, the the the, uh, the so-called Jews are the Jewish people. They're even fighting against their government. You have people protesting against uh, Netanyahu. Uh, uh, how do you say his name? Um, Netanyahu. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can't pronounce his name right now. Tongue twister. Then uh, not a Jew, man. Okay, <laughs> all right, that dude. Then uh, Nahu, he's um. People are protesting against him. They don't want him in uh, office again. All right. So they, they, these are uh, protests and these uh, uproar uh, uproars of the people are happening worldwide, man. All right. Hey, man, and these are beautiful signs, all right? Because we, uh, uh, these signs are um, tokens to us, all right? Before the Most High comes to visit this place. And they're increasing, and they're all happening simultaneously as well. We've never seen this before, and, and, we, and that's how we know we're at the end. Because everything's happening uh, and aligning, uh, aligning itself perfectly. Is there more to that, Ark? Well, I, I got a precept in uh, this is Second Ezra 15, 16. It says, "For there shall be sedition among men." Start at fifteen, I think. Was it woe? Is the world? Uh, Does it say that right there. I might be wrong. It, it's fourteen. What you talking about? Uh, it's a uh, Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse fourteen. It says, "Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the for the sword and their destruction draw nigh." Yeah, exactly. So destruction is going to come upon this world. Not just here in America. This is uh, the uh, the grand finale. But worldwide, a lot of people are going to be uh, uh, put to death, man, out here. All right? And the, hey, the sword and the destruction is drawing nigh. It's getting closer and closer. Yeah, it says, And one people shall stand, and stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men. Yeah, so you're going to have a bunch of race riots, class riots, you know, uh, food riots. They're going to have weapons in their hands, man. You know, they're going to have their uh, the modern day gun. All right. You know, people are going to, you know, have, um, you know, bombs. You know, uh, they're going to make bombs at, at, in their, at their house. And then eventually, man, it's just going to get, you know, dirty, man. You know, where people are going to hit each other with, you know, bricks. Two by fours, baseball bats, all that good stuff, man. Yeah, it says, For there shall be sedition among men, and 
and invading one another. They shall not regard the king, their kings nor their princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. You know? So, uh, you know, seditions, going into that word, man, like like the brother said, man, it's going it's to go from, uh, from uh, class wars to race wars to just an all-out frenzy, man. And then what, what do people do when they don't have... Uh, when they run out of bullets or if like say they run out of uh out of uh out of am ammunition so to speak they use whatever they can find man you know then it's then it's knives and it's swords bats sticks rocks well the fuck can you find till you beat somebody to death uh, uh yeah, it says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able for because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Yep, exactly. You know, you're going to have, you know, martial law kicking, all right? And they're going to be justified to implement martial law because of all the chaos. And uh, what did that last part say? I think it's 18 or 19. Yeah, it says, uh, for, because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. Yep. Troubled. And that, that's the main reason why uh, the Lord is going to take these places down, man. It's because of the pride. This place has been... It has not feared the Lord for so long. And everyone believes in themselves. All right? They believe in uh, carnal things. Very prideful people out here, man. All right? So the Lord's going to bring them down very low. And he's like, hey, man, the Lord is going to, you know, put them to, in the graves, man. No. Keep going. I think there's like one more verse. It says a man shall not have, it's so like a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their, it's so like and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Uh, and yeah, that's right, man. You know all this is gonna happen, man, because of lack of bread. Everything is okay right now because there's, uh, um, you know, leaves on the tree, so to speak, as you know, that uh, parable that Yahweh Shai said, man, all right? But how much more, uh, it's, right now, people still do crazy stuff and there's, you know, food around. How much more when there's no food, you can't take a shower, there's no water, there's no clothes, you know, clothing out here? What are people going to do, man? They're going to freak out and they're, they're going to go... Um, you know, they're going to uh, uh, kill one another, man. They're going to become savages and beasts, man. They always talk about, you know, I'm a savage, you know, beast mode. Oh, yeah, they about to be that. They definitely about to be that. <laughs> you know, man, hey, the Lord, hey, they want to be that so much. Hey, the Lord's going to make them uh, do those things, man. All right? You know, so, hey, man, these, these people are going to get brought down very, very low. Uh, we're getting uh, uh, close to the end. Um, can you get Romans uh, 13? Like 11 you know, These signs are uh, They're all around us You know That's why we just gotta stay focused Pray to the Lord for endurance Strength You know we gotta be brotherly Pray for one another Sacrifice Do this work Cause before we know it man We're gonna be in the midst of all this madness and the only thing that we have is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and we'll we'll be uh, uh it, it, it's lucky we'll be lucky if we're next to a brother man in that day. It's more than likely we're not going to be around each other. You know. Right, this is, uh, Romans chapter thirteen verse eleven it says, "And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep." For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Okay. Yeah, our salvation is nearer than when we believed. All right. So we got to wake up out of sleep, man. When you go into that word sleep, it, it actually goes back into the word. Uh, I forgot the exact Greek word, but it uh, basically means uh, uh, being in a hypnotic state. Hypnotic state. Okay. Being under hypnosis. All right. You know. We, we can't be uh, under this uh, 
ba- you know, this Babylon, uh, spell of Babylon, okay? Because they got all our people under a heavy spell right now. You saw Edom, the so-called white man, has our people, you know, in a trance, man. They don't realize uh, what's going on. They're, they're, they're just living a, a you know, a, a fantasy right now. Everything is smoke and mirrors. I got to reset. Come Second Ezra, Second Corinthians, chapter six, verse two. For he says, "I have heard thee in the time, in the time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I secured thee." Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. You know, since this truth is coming out, is it now? It's time for us to wake up. Uh, you know, since we wake, since you want to wake up to the madness that's going on throughout the earth, it was the Lord put that spirit out there. It, you wake up to to this deliverance from it, man. You know, since this truth is out here, man, we're supposed to be uh, using it, utilizing it to to. Show brothers how we gonna be in that day, man. You know, to put that covering out there that Yahweh Shah is coming back, and that uh, there is no hope for this place right here, man. Don't you see it crumbling? Don't you see it falling? Now is the high time to wake out of out of slumber, man. All right, uh, you got anything else? No, that's it. You know, and we were, you know, just wanted to do a quick in transit lesson. Hopefully, that was edifying to those who are listening. With that, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Wahal Rakak Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and salutations to all the Akim out there. Shalom. Shalom.